It was a household name all through the late 90s, the time when hip hop was not only taking over our TVs and airwaves, but our computers. In this clip, you will hear exclusive excerpts from one of the co-founders, Keith Perrin, about his personal sacrifice, experiences, industry influence, and lifestyle. This is where they turned a simple dream into a $350 million business. Well, when we first started Crazy, right out the box, it, it was crazy. I mean, we moved over here in the Empire State Building, and we just started doing numbers immediately. You know, it was a blessing uh, to do so well. But um, when we got to that to that point where, you know, we're walking around and, and people are, you know, girls are crying and shaking like we're a rock group or r and group, that to me was like the ultimate, like what the hell's going on right now? <laughs> um, I think Grim described it best. He used to be like, you know, you guys are like a, a, a modern day R&B group, you know, that does clothes. Like he's never seen anything, you know, to the point where, you know, especially with the girls crying over us and shaking and all that. And just, you know, the people that we came in contact with and, um, you know, some of the most important people in the world, the Nelson Mandela's, the Bill Clinton's at the height of eight, you know, especially Bill Clinton when he was president, we had a lunch with, with the president. Like, you know, who does that? Hilfiger, but there's another player emerging out there, and while there's no particular cachet associated yet with this young New York designer's name, it may just be a matter of time before you recognize his name and his clothes. The rags to riches story of Damon John and his apparel line called Fubu. Street clothes the kids in the suburbs want. <laughs> Fubu is a phenomenon. Is it hot? Ultra hot. A phenomenon because just six years ago, FUBU was little more than the dream of four lifelong friends. You know, I, that, it turned into a, a, a mass, a, what I'm going to say, I just want to say like a massive audience that was looking for our goods that they couldn't find it. And once they finally found it, you couldn't stop that, that snowball effect. And it was, it was crazy. Every day we woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning and just put in a whole day's work, 10, 12 at night kept doing it. The FUBU founders, Damon John, Carl Brown, Jay Alexander Martin, and Keith Perrin spent every waking hour designing and sewing and selling clothes. These guys saw us as, you know, look at these young cats out here doing it. You know, these, these cats are really doing it. They're really doing numbers. They're on TV every five minutes. They're on all these stations. You know, these cats is driving around and Bentleys and Maybachs and, you know, coupes and all kind of coupes and trucks and like, you know, we were, you know, living that life. It wasn't nothing, it wasn't nothing fake about it. Your parlayed a talent for sewing into a $200 million sportswear empire called FUBU, meaning for us, by us. One of the hottest labels in a $5 billion urban clothing market selling alongside such fashion stars as Tommy Hilfiger and Ralph Lauren. You know, doing the numbers that we did, you know, it was up to like 350 million a year sales. You know, total we did, you know, some something billion. It was a good thing, man. I mean, you know, Damon, Jay, and uh, Carl. You know, we all did the whole ride together. You know, we did different ventures together. Whether it was music, you know, Fatty Girl, LL Cool J, Keith Murray, Ludacris, like, you know, a, a lot of that stuff. A lot of that stuff we were first. You know, we were the first to do. Mm -hmm. um, being inducted into the great black. Well, it's actually the the uh, International Wax Museum right now, it's, that's what it's called now, you know, being inducted into that, it's like, how the hell, you know, you, you come up with clothes, you know, you make some nice pieces or whatever, but how do you get inducted to the, the, a wax museum for designing clothes? Cause if you get it, then it 